I made the best universe mode, but it's 2008. During this time frame, there is a brand split between Raw, SmackDown, and ECW, each with its own roster and only one pay-per-view. Let's start with week one. Monday Night Raw kicks off with the New World Heavyweight Champion, CM Punk. Punk takes the microphone and addresses the crowd. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. I have to say that the last seven days have been pretty crazy, to say the least. But here I stand as your new world heavyweight champion. Many of you probably know that I am straight edge, which means I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't use drugs. But what you might not know is that I'm also a straight shooter when it comes to saying things. I've been feeling that there is some tension in the Monday Night roster, and with good reason, right? I mean, not only did this kid named CM Punk come over from ECW to Monday Night Raw, but now I'm their world champion as well. So if anybody has a problems with me, you can come down right now and tell it to my face. As CM Punk issues an open invitation, familiar music echoes throughout the arena, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, makes his entrance. Michaels says to Punk, first and foremost, congratulations on winning the heavyweight championship. And you're right, there is tension in the locker room regarding you as the new champion. But don't let it get to your head. When you reach the top of the mountain, there are always going to be critics. I know that better than anybody here, what it feels like to have tension around you. So my advice to you is that no matter what anybody else says, you should not feel ashamed about how you became champion, all right? Punk looks at Michaels with a smirk and a little bit of confusion in his eyes and says to him, why would I be ashamed? Michaels' response is, I mean... It's not my place for me to comment on the subject. Punk retorts, No, tell me, you already mentioned. The cat is out of the bag. Why should I be ashamed? I won this title fair and square as the money in the bank contract pertains. A contract, may I add, I won by climbing a ladder and beating six other men, so I don't understand why you would say that. As Punk finishes that sentence, the music of the animal Batista hits. Batista joins Michaels and Punk in the ring and says the following, He won't tell you, but I will. The only reason you won that championship is because of me. I'm the reason you became champion. You are standing right now in the same ring with two men who won their first world championship by going through hell and beating the champion decisively. It took me 21 minutes of hell to become world champion. And for Sean, it was more than an hour. So when he says that you should not feel ashamed for how you won, he is right. You shouldn't feel ashamed. You should be ashamed. Sean intervenes saying, hey, let's calm down. All right, he's right. He did win that briefcase fair and square. So leave the kid alone. CM Punk replies, You don't need to defend me. I can defend myself just fine. I say we stop talking and we do something about it. In two weeks at the Great American Bash, I will put my championship on the line against either of you two. After I beat the two of you, we can continue this conversation about how ashamed I should be. And just like that, a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship was made. In our first match of the night, we saw the Glamazon Beth Phoenix with Santino Morella taking on Molina. Molina won the match after surprising Phoenix with a roll-up. Let's just say that Beth was not too happy about that. In the main event of the show, John Cena was set to address his future on Monday Night Raw. John took the microphone and said, There has been a lot going on in the show tonight, but the most important thing is for each one of you in the crowd to have a good time. You pay your hard-earned money to come here every Monday night and support your favorite superstars. I appreciate those of you who cheer me, and I appreciate those of you who boo me. This is what all of this is about. Tonight, I came here to talk about what's next for me. What's next is that title that is resting on the waist of CM Punk. You see, I've never held the World Heavyweight Championship before, so I am here to throw my name in the hat, and let's have John Cena versus CM Punk. As Cena was finishing his sentence, the Viper, alongside the members of Legacy, interrupted Cena. Orton, with a microphone in hand, said, Cena, who the hell do you think you are to just come here and demand a title shot, huh? If anybody here is going to have a shot at the World Heavyweight title, it's me. Legacy started marching towards Cena, but Cena was not going to run. Cena went down and started fighting the members of Legacy, but there were too many people for Cena. In the end, the numbers gained the upper hand and Cena was defenseless. Orton hit Cena with an RKO, and Legacy celebrated as Cena was left unconscious in the middle of the ring. SmackDown kicked off with the WWE Champion Triple H. Hunter took the mic and addressed the crowd, Welcome to SmackDown. Thanks to the draft, I'm now part of the SmackDown roster and the WWE title has returned to this brand. I sense a different vibe in the air. With new superstars and a fresh champion on the show, let's seize the moment and provide an opportunity to someone new from the locker room. As Triple H finished talking, the music of the rated R superstar echoed across the arena. Edge made a beeline towards the ring and said, You know what, Hunter? I think that's great. I was just robbed of my World Heavyweight Championship. 
Who in the hell accepts that somebody can come in with a briefcase and have a shot at the title whenever they want? Triple H looked at Edge and said, Isn't that how you won the title not once, but twice? Edge responded, That's not the point, and that doesn't relate to the situation. Because nobody wants to help me, I came here to gladly accept your challenge. Triple H responded, When I said someone new, I meant someone who has not been champion yet. Also, I don't think these people in the arena want to see you have another opportunity, so I say no. Edge got triggered and said, You know, I knew you were going to pull something like this. You have always tried to keep me down, but I came prepared. Triple H looked at Edge and said, Oh, don't worry, I don't fear those Edgeheads of yours. Edge answered with, Well, then you are going to be thrilled. It's not them. All of a sudden, the Big Show came from behind, grabbing Triple H and hitting the choke slam. Now, Edge and Big Show were assaulting Triple H, but a bell rang throughout the arena, the lights went dark, and The Undertaker appeared. Undertaker evened the score. Now, Triple H delivered a pedigree to Edge. Edge and Big Show retreated, and Taker and Hunter stood in the middle of the ring. Teddy announced that the main event would be a tag team match. Playa? with the team of Edge and Big Show taking on Triple H and The Undertaker. In our first match of the night, we witnessed Vladimir Kozlov facing off against Jesse. Kozlov secured the victory by executing his signature maneuver. The Moscow Mauler is certainly building momentum. I suppose he'll become champion one day. Or not. In the second match of the night, we witnessed the United States champion Shelton Benjamin defeating MVP in a non-title match. It was time for the main event, where Edge, accompanied by the tag team champions Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins, teamed up with the Big Show against Triple H and The Undertaker. After a wild match, Triple H managed to hit the Big Show with the pedigree. Hunter and Taker won the match and ended the show standing strong in the middle of the ring. In week two, John Cena kicked off the show to address the beatdown provided by Legacy last week. Cena said, I didn't come here to talk today. I came here to fight. I am ready to take on any member of Legacy individually or separately, so come down to the ring right now. The members of Legacy came down to the ring to face Cena in a handicap match. Cena was getting the best of the tag team champions, putting them down with a double attitude adjustment. That's when the Viper appeared. He tried to hit Cena with an RKO, but Cena was ready. Cena countered with an attitude adjustment to Orton, and Cena stood tall. In the second match of the night, we had a rematch between the women's champion and Melina, Once again, Melina upset the champ by winning with a roll-up. But this time, Beth was not going to stand still. She went after Melina and gave her a beatdown outside the ring. In our third match of the night, we had a fatal four-way match for the Intercontinental Championship. The participants included Rey Mysterio, JBL, Kofi Kingston, and the champion Chris Jericho. Jericho hit Rey with a code breaker. JBL hit Jericho with a clothesline from hell. And Kofi hit JBL with Trouble in Paradise, pinning JBL and winning the match to become the new Intercontinental Champion. After the match, Kofi was having an interview backstage when Jericho interrupted him. Jericho said, Listen to me, Junior. You did not pin me out there. Give me my title back. Kofi responded to Chris, saying, I won that match fair and square. Now, if you want a rematch, you got it. Jericho retorted, A rematch, huh? And proceeded to bang Kofi's head against the raw screen behind them. It was time for the main event. We were going to witness the World Heavyweight Champion in action. CM Punk was set to take on William Regal. Punk won the match after hitting Regal with a GTS, but then Batista hit Punk from behind, Batista with Punk, and a Batista bomb. But wait, sweet chin music to Batista. The show ended with only Michaels on his feet. The show started with a banger, the great Kali against The Undertaker. Taker was dominating Kali when The Big Show pulled Undertaker from outside the ring, just as Taker had done to him before. Big Show proceeded to give a beatdown to Undertaker, with the cherry on top being a devastating chokeslam to Taker on the announce table. In our second match, we saw Deuce and Domino, accompanied by Cherry, taking on Jesse and Festus. Deuce and Domino emerged victorious after Domino executed his signature move on Jesse. In our third match, the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy faced off against MVP. Hardy won the match after hitting the Swanton Bomb on MVP. After the match, Jeff took a microphone and said, I have something I want to say. I've been known by many names here in WWE, but the next name I want all of you to know me for is Jeff Hardy, WWE Champion. The crowd cheered for Jeff, but Umaga attacked him from behind. Umaga grabbed Jeff and hit him with a Samoan spike, but this wasn't enough. Umaga took Jeff outside the ring and threw him against every possible physical object he could find. In the main event, it was Triple H against a member of the family. However, the match never started because all three members of the family jumped Triple H at the same time. 
Then Edge delivered a spear to the game. The show ended with Edge on top and Triple H laid unconscious in the ring. And just like that, it was time for the Great American Bash. In the first match, we saw The Undertaker taking on The Big Show. The Undertaker won the match by submission after The Big Show tapped out to the Hell's Gate. Our second match was for the ECW Championship, where Kane challenged the champion Mark Henry. Henry retained the title after hitting the world's strongest slam on Kane. In our third match, Jeff Hardy faced Umaga. Hardy emerged victorious in this match after hitting Umaga with a Swanton Bomb. With this win, Jeff was now free to pursue the WWE title. In our fourth match, Kofi Kingston defended his newly won Intercontinental Championship against Chris Jericho. Kingston retained the title by winning after hitting Jericho with a Trouble in Paradise. In the fifth match, we saw John Cena facing off against Randy Orton in a singles match. At one point in the match, both Cody and Ted rushed into the ring, only to be received with an attitude adjustment from Cena. However, it was at this moment that Randy Orton capitalized with an RKO, securing the victory over Cena. The sixth match was for the WWE Championship, with Edge challenging Triple H for the title. This match was filled with interference. Ryder got into the ring to distract Triple H as Edge was preparing to hit a spear on the game. However, Triple H managed to move out of the way, and Edge inadvertently speared Ryder. Seizing the opportunity... Triple H hit Edge with the pedigree to retain the WWE Championship. The main event was a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship featuring the challengers Shawn Michaels and the animal Batista taking on the champion CM Punk. CM Punk hit Batista with the GTS, but out of nowhere, Michaels delivered a sweet chin music to Punk, winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, click on this one right here.